So I'm Kenny Lowry, and today we're going to take a look at what we're calling the sliding rock hull. Now this is a great uh, boulder, and it combines two different elements, I think, here. It has a it has the boulder plume like a lot of our boulders do, and it has the, the horizontal boulder part of, of some of our other boulders, but it also has a feature kind of similar to a waterfall, like one of our waterfall uses. Most of the time the boulders kind of come up and then they cascade down the side of the boulders. I kind of run down the side. This one actually drops away there and has a waterfall effect uh, there. It also has a shallow pool here at the top. It'd be great for birds. Uh, this would attract a lot of birds. Also, when you have water falling on water, it creates more sound when you have a pooling effect at the top. So this one is one of those that, would, that creates more noise or more sound uh, because of that pooling effect. Now keep in mind, we can, those are things, we have the water pluming up probably about three, four inches there. And those are things that we can change. If you'd rather have a more gentle flow, we can certainly do that with a smaller pump. Or if you'd like to have a larger flow, we could increase the size of the pump or restrict the amount of water, which would cause the water to shoot up higher, which would increase the sound. So these are all things that, that we can do for you if we know ahead of time what, exactly what you want. But you can kind of see that that scoots up there and kind of off to the middle there. We do have this tilted forward. Uh, we wanted to have all the water flow off the front rather than all the way around because we wanted the water to come over there and do that waterfall effect over that, that, that area, the rock there, the boulder that sticks out. So we wanted to have that waterfall effect. So that's something you need to do on your end too is kind of tilt it one side or the other till you get the water flowing exactly where you want it. Right now I'll grab the, boulder, grab the uh, camera and show you up close on this boulder. Then keep in mind these are GFRC boulders, stands for Glass Fiber Reinforced Concrete. It's the same material used in zoo exhibits and animal habitats. It has the look, the feel, and the texture of a real rock at about one-fifth the weight. So it's still kind of heavy, but it's a whole lot lighter than a real rock of this size. Uh, this is a mold of a real rock, so I'll show you up close here on the detail. Every crack, crevice, or, or anything that was on that mother rock is going to be picked up on this rock. And I'll show you the detail there. You can kind of see just how much detail there is in one of these boulders. It is amazing how much detail it picks up. And when you touch it, it feels like a real rock. So it has all the elements of real rock. All the, I like to say all the advantages and none of the disadvantages. You see, we've, you can see it there, we've got it tilted. You see the way the water falls away there. I think the neat part about this boulder. It is attractive all the way around. And you could have it coming off the back too if you wanted, but I think it looks better to have that water falling way off front there. And you can hear it there too, it's a pretty noisy boulder and we'll step around to the back there you can see it is attractive all the way around and this is also one of the boulders that we do our fire fountains in so it's a combination of fire and water 